top of the morning to you. I hope your coffee tastes good if you're drinking coffee right now, or if you're eating lunch, or whatever you're doing. Welcome back. Today's supposed to be a lame video, but we're gonna go make some more bad decisions. And we're gonna take you with us. Now take a look behind me. We've got a Jeep frame, a Toyota body. We've got the beautiful skid steer. We got Frank that's all back up and running. Brand new $5,000 engine and a $500 forklift. And we have the legendary Lamo land yacht that we should be working on. But instead, we're gonna jump in the trekker and go for a little drive because we have a surprise for you. But I think you'll be happy with it. So let's go. I'm not supposed to tell you guys, but I'll give you a, a hint. It's a Ford and it may have something that goes like this on the back, like this. You have to wait and see. The last time Hillbilly did this, I'm a little teapot short and stout. I'm a little teapot short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. I'm not really sure where to go. Hillbilly's the one that set this up. All right, so here it is. I don't even know what year it is. Let's go see what year this, this sweet, sweet gem is. I'm gonna guess 95, 96, maybe 97. <laughs> Looks a little rough. A 92. This was built by Mid-America Wrecker Sales in Commerce City, Colorado. Got a few issues. First issue is it's a Ford. It's the biggest issue, it's got a big old blue circle on it. Big old blue circle, oval, see, oval. luckily oval. I got Team Chevrolet right here with me, but she you know couldn't what? handle it, that's why it's on a Ford. Oh, that's why it's sitting in a field. <laughs> that's why it doesn't run. <laughs> we don't know that yet. Well, we'll find out. Should that's why the Toyota's gonna pull it? So, we brought the Trekker just in case, because I don't think this thing's gonna start here. My guess is we're gonna have to haul it back to the shop, pull it in and figure out what's going on with it. Um, the guy that owns it, he said that he thinks it's got a fuel pump issue. So we're gonna kind of mess around with it and see what we can do and then get it back to the shop. We got a lot of stuff to do on this because we need to get this roadworthy so we can at least use it. And then we'll do some build out on it and all the other fun stuff that comes with new toys and bad, bad decisions. If it didn't have the recess like that, we'd be able to put it in there and use it, but there ain't no way to. There's like a hundred different cables on there going in every single direction. So it looks to me like this has got an electric clutch with a hydraulic pump. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that. I've, I've only seen them with PTOs. So when we go ahead and put an LS in this, we can just add that right to the top. That was a joke. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Just kidding. He was saying something about if it runs rough, just touch these wires and it comes back to life. So we need to do some We need to do some fixing. wire repair, yeah. Just touch these wires. All right, see if that'll work. Do we have another jumper box? Yep. I think one will be enough. You think? We'll, we'll see. It's not a diesel, it's a gas. Um, do we have some starting fluid? Looks like there's a can right there. Where? Under the hood next to the air filter. Huh. Somebody's already tried. There you go. You can hear the fuel pump kicking on, so. Oh. <laughs> Either the fuel pump's weak or it might just be out of gas. Who knows? Oh no, it's down about halfway. So it's got, it's at least got some coolant in it. It's a little low, but it actually looks clean. Yeah, it's on the add. And so it's, it's clean, so that's a plus. All right, let's hit it. This would look really good blue. I'll see about painting my topper sober. Yeah, that'll look good. Hillbilly put, a, Hillbilly went ahead and put a topper on the old Trekker. Hit it again. So close. It's so wanting to. It. Try it again. <laughs> Give it a little for it. Are you sure it has gas? I think it's out of gas. Let's pull it back to the shop, put some gas in it, and see if that was the issue or not. I swear if this thing is out of gas, that is a bad omen to the first time we ever do anything with it. Maybe it's good. No, actually, maybe it's good because then it'll never run out of gas. 
Um, the other day when I was talking to him about it, he did say that one of the pumps is bad in one of the tanks. Well, that's fine. We can figure that out, but okay. we'll need both pu uh, pumps, I'm sure, in the future. Um, all right, so let's get the jumper boxes put away. Once we get it back to the shop, we'll show you guys all the good, the bad, and the ugly of the new off-road wrecker. We're still waiting for Rory to get the other one done. So this, this one has a wheel lift and a single line boom. So this is gonna be like for the more easy to moderate type of stuff. It is four wheel drive. We'll go over all that once we get it back. Rory's building us a double A tow truck that's gonna be like extreme off-road stuff that like trail mater, trail mater type of recoveries. Well, we're gonna have to use for trail mater type of recoveries until Rory that's gets true. it done. Cause we're sick and tired of hauling our skid loader everywhere. This bumper, Seems to be sturdy enough. Well, I don't even have to hook it up. It's already hooked itself up. That's engaged, right? Yeah. Good enough. Good, good enough. I'm gonna get in the old four wheel drive Ford Wrecker. I don't like the way that sounds. I love the way it sounds, especially coming out of your mouth. <laughs> Ring into my ears. That's really weird. Not a terribly uncomfortable seat, so that's good. Got manual crank windows. All right, so the Trekker just about couldn't pull this thing out, so it must have some weight to it. We're gonna get it back to the shop and hopefully get this bad boy to run. We'll go diagnose what's going on. Hopefully it's just out of gas, but you never know. We did hear the fuel pump come on. Hillbilly was able to take off the kick panel in here and bypass the fuel shutoff switch, which was deactivated. He's just taken some wires and jumped them. So anyway, we do know that the fuel pump is pumping, but whether it's pumping gas or not, we have no idea. Better put together a list of things that it needs and to make it roadworthy, because we've got to take this on some recoveries. We got a pretty cool one coming up. It's actually like a motor home or something like that. We'll see how it goes. This most definitely has some flat spots in these tires. First upgrade, we're gonna be putting some BFG KM3s on it. So I talked to my buddy Rory. You guys may know Rory from Trail Mater. And he told me what size of tires he would put on it. Um, he's got another truck kind of like it. I'm gonna get the same size tires because he knows what size tires work really well. So from the looks of it, it's been parked in that spot for a long time. It is sunk into the ground. It took a little bit for the trucker to get it out. I was only in two wheel drive but it also looks like there's flat spots on the tires because Robbie's hopping a little bit. I'm excited to see if this thing runs and drives and, make, uh, and see if the, everything works. And the toolbox keeps flying open on the side, so we'll have to fix latches, it looks like. Sweet. Does that even run? This better be the last time we have to push this forward. Okay, so I found the first beehive on the truck and there's bees on it, so it's time to get rid of the bees. Are they bees or wasps? <sighs> to me, don't, don't matter, die. they need to die. These are important. So I'm gonna finish getting these bees out. Wasps. So we don't, or as Demery says, wasps. To me, they all need to die. So we'll get rid of them before one of us gets stung them. Now that we got the sweet old gal, new to us machine inside the shop, we gotta figure out how to make this thing run. 
copy. Huh. These are almost identical to what's supposed to be on the checkered fender. Where'd those come from? The dash, there's like five or six of them up there. Maybe he was gonna do cab mounts. But, you know what I'm thinking, Hillbilly? I'm thinking- to start. Yeah, let's get it to start. First things first, we need to light it up. I think we need some lights up here, some new roof, like bright, bright lights. And stacks. We don't need stacks today, but maybe, maybe one day. Um, what are stacks? Like some ice? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it's a These, these we'll water straight pipes, have a good rumble to it. Oh, such a good rumble. Those forwards ain't nothing better. We got a lot of wiring gremlins that we need to chase today. We also have battery cables that need to be all switched out. Oh, this is jumpers. Yeah, it goes right here. What the heck? So we might just, today we might just eliminate those unless we have the cables. And it's the good heavy duty set cables too. Oh, no way. It needs new clamps, but. Yeah, for now. Oh, look at that. Can't complain about that, can you? That's ni that's 1992 vintage. There's one wiring problem solved. Well, no, we gotta fix the ends. Vintage? Yeah, vintage. So you're saying I'm vintage? Yes, you are very vintage. You are a 1992 model. Those people that think that she's 21, get a grip. I think we need gasolina and a battery. Uh, we're running, me and Steve's running to Napa to get a battery. Robbie is running to Maverick to get the gas. And then we'll meet back here again. So we just got to Maverick. Hillbilly and Steve are over at Napa getting us a battery. We're gonna use my brand new can that I want at the Demolition Derby. 425 a gallon for gas. It's absolutely ridiculous. Watch this. Goodbye, sound. Absolutely insane. World's going crazy. So the five gallon gas can takes 5.664 gallons. It's got the best of the best batteries, like Robbie said. Red Top Optimus. And there goes Robbie. He's on the way back to the shop. He must have already got the gas. And hopefully it goes and runs. All right, first things first. We got us an Optima, we're gonna throw it in. And just see, see what it's gonna do. We already know, we got a ton of wiring. We got our wire pro. We'll get it all, we'll get all the wiring done here in a little bit. Well, golf, since we're doing wiring, should we pull whiskers around and get wiring done on it too? One project at a time. Remember, people get mad. Got to finish something, so we'll do the wiring on this first. By the looks of it, that could be the next three days we're doing wiring on this. And the funny thing is, we haven't even made a deal with the owner yet. We just want to first see if it's even going to start. And we got to figure out which tank. Didn't you say you heard one of the pumps kicking? Yeah, on the it? pump. It's the driver's head. Is it the driver's head? I thought. I mean, we'll we'll check it. Is that a switch? Says front and rear, but that's from it being original. Okay, so we're gonna put some gas in this side. Look at this. I just love it. I'm already falling. I'm falling for her hard. It's probably gonna take that five gallons just to start it. They're gas hogs. I can tell you what. Once we get this thing started. This bed's getting cleaned off. There's crap everywhere. Um, one thing we do want to do, um, and I saw this on Fabrats. So when Paul built his truck, he had a hydraulic winch and it's super slow. So I think what we're going to do is... But Paul's was an older bed. This one might be faster because it's a newer bed. We'll just call him and ask. <laughs> What's going on? It's about to head to the lake and float the old yellow submarine a little. Well, don't turn it into a submarine again. Float it. Hey, so we just, we are in the process of joining the Wrecker Club. We've got a 92 Ford F-350 with a single line boom. On your Wrecker, you switched out your hydraulic winch. Was it because it was slow? Yes. Okay, so the electric winch is just quicker. Way quicker and you don't have to have it running to use it. I think that's gonna be our first upgrade. We'll pull that hydraulic winch off and put an electric winch on. All right. Okay, yeah. thank you, bud. Is there any gas on the ground? Cause I smell gas bad. You're just smelling raw American horsepower. Raw American horsepower. Raw American horsepower. Yeah. Yes. 
All right, let's see if this bad pony starts. Cycle it. Don't stop till you've had enough. No fuel. We got a fuel pump. Where's the bleeder valve? You see it? Yeah, but I couldn't get anything to push it. Look what I just found, Robbie. Never been opened. He what needs that? that. That's a Oh, that's stage. garbage. Everybody that's knows. a sign. No, that's, that's, that's from the heavens. It's garbage. No, it's not. No, it's yes, not. it is. No, yes, it is. It's a Chevy. It's garbage. Look at how great this is. This is a sign, everybody. Chevy. Tr okay, we're opening this. This is from like the 1800s. Chevy Tough with Ford Stuff. Is that how that goes? No. I mean, Ford Tough with Chevy Stuff. Oh, that's disgusting. Uh, it was at one point in life, first aid kit. Not quite sure I'd trust it. <laughs> I highly doubt there's even stickiness left on those band-aids be inside oh, the truck. It's gonna be hot. Oh no, they're sticky. Very sticky? Okay, we're good. All right, now I can see in there. Oh, there's gas. Oh, that's stinky. It's got terrible gas. Should we cycle the key with that shredder valve pushed down and get clean gas coming through? And then what, just let it all sit on top of the motor till it blows up? It'll evaporate. All right, cool. Let's blow this sucker up. That was very bubbly. It's really- It is. Oh, okay, okay, we're getting air. It don't even smell like gas. It smells like varnish. And it looks like varnish. Crank it. It don't sound like it's getting enough fuel pressure. Crank it. It's, well, we're not losing it at all, but we're just getting a lot of air. We need to sop this up somehow. The oh! are on. We don't have floods or auxiliary. <laughs> hey, at least they work. That's a plus. Okay, let's get this thing lifted. Inner door handle don't work. It won't let me out. So we're gonna pull this drop, or we are going to drop this gas tank to see what the heck is going on. Why are you doing that? To get the hose off so that way the filler hose off so that way uh, all the gunk don't go inside the tank. Okay, so I got the hose clamp loose. So when we, as we lower it down, it should just go. I hope. Our thought process is to drop this and see if the pickup is bad. Oh, and there's the bad gas. All right, so Hillbilly just got the fuel pressure line undone. Now we're gonna take this and put it on the ground and figure our lives out. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> well, at least it's protected, right? With all this, it'll never rust. Maybe yeah. we should leave it on there. Seriously. Oh my gosh, look how thick that is. Oh, that's why it don't work. Oh, it's rusty. That means there, there was ain't water no in it. float on it. Well, that means there was moisture in there or water. Gas has water in it. Never what? in my life heard How the gas. How could gas have, water, have in water in it? Look it up. Gas has water in it. It has dissolved water in its composition. What the heck does that even mean? Found the problem. It wasn't even seated up in place. It was just sitting in there. So it means it was getting all of that air and less fuel. So as, I, as soon as I pulled this housing off, it went thunk. So I went to Napa, got a pump only. Um, they've ordered me an assembly. A couple of days that'll be here. So we'll end up dropping the tank again at some point, but that's no problem. We'll be experts by then. So I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Solder Sticks. We're gonna use our solder sticks to connect these two wires. The reason for that, this is gonna be inside a gas and we wanna have it sealed and soldered. So we're gonna grab the appropriate solder sticks, get them put on and show you guys how they work. So if you guys want to get your own solder sticks, make sure you click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below. Use code ROB20, save yourselves 20% off on your solder sticks. These things work awesome. Isn't it solder? Oh yeah, sorry. Solder sticks. I get in trouble when 
I tell the internet that it's solder stick. I'm gonna hold this in place while it cools down and we'll go on to the next one. All right, we got both of these wire connections on solder stick, solder sticked in. They're heat shrinked, they're soldered, soldered, and we've got this ready to go in. <laughs> so we're gonna hang up the new banner. Got this awesome 500 pack, got four different colors. Look at that, we got white, red, yellow, and blue. for all different sizes. So make sure you click that link in the pinned comment in the description below. Save yourself 20% with my code ROB20 so that you can do some of your own wiring at home. Now? So you can get to soldering. So you can get to soldering. <laughs> Still gonna call it solder stick. We're gonna get this installed. Hillbilly has got the ring. He's just getting it wire wheeled. It is seated. Now the tank can go back up into place. 20 hours later. Oh, I didn't get a fuel filter. Probably need that, don't we? Gee, be a good idea so we need to leave more gas so I can get a fuel filter. We're gonna hook these up. Got it. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna run a Maverick, grab some more gas, and I'm gonna go grab a fuel filter at Napa that I didn't get. I'm always forgetting. We got some big exciting news for E from Utah. We have a <laughs> Wendy's. Now this is huge news because I swear his phone goes off every time I talk. This is huge news because for the last 34 years, we've only ever had McGrossies. And so, <laughs> I mean, sorry, McDonald's. But we finally have moved up in the world and we have a Wendy's. Today is its grand opening. So we loaded up the crew and we're gonna get some, we're gonna sit in this terribly long line and we're gonna get some McDonald's. I mean, we're gonna not get some McDonald's. <laughs> we're gonna get some Wendy's and then we're gonna drive past McDonald's and see how dead they are because this is gonna put a hurting on McDonald's. And we had like 10 cars ahead of us and I took like five minutes to order and they still got it faster than you would have ever, ever, ever even been able to go through the McDonald's drive-thru. So we're gonna go check out and see if McDonald's has any cars. I feel like there's gonna be cars there. It's just gonna be employees. I just wanna point out the fact that there is one car at McDonald's. This is normally a line all the way around the building and everybody gets so frustrated because this McDonald's is so slow. They never, ever, ever can get you through and they cannot ever get your order right. Oh, and not to mention, ice cream's always broken. Ice cream's always broken. I don't think it is Look at today. This. This is, I'll bet the ice cream works today. <laughs> Needless to say, we're all a little bit excited about this new place to eat. Okay, fuel filter is in, fuel pump is in. 5.664 more gallons going in. And keep it Did you, did you use crossed. my Maverick card? Oh, I forgot to use the Maverick card. Keep that would have been, been 10, 11.2 gallons of gasoline today that we would have gotten rewards on, but God. This better. There was water in the gas tank. I'm betting it went down those, down the fuel cap. Terrible spot for gas. Put a cover, put it right here. That's too much work. The cover sounds better. better. This has turned into a complete, just try to make it run. And it wasn't supposed to be that. What if it doesn't start? Then are we not buying it? So is this- no, we still haven't even bought it. Is this series, or is this video going to be, can we get it running? Is that gonna be the thumbnail title? Yeah, and you're gonna go. Look at that, look at that thumbnail face. No, but he's got it figured out. Look at that, that is clear. And the gas that was coming out of it was pea yellow. After he hears it run, he might not want to sell it. Well, I'll tell him that he owes me 11.24 gallons, 11.228 gallons. Plus a fuel pump. And two solder sticks. That's right. Don't forget. And our time. Solder. Solder sticks. Don't forget, <laughs> click that link in the pinned comment. If people knew from Utah, uh, we don't say our T's either. What do you mean we don't say, Here, say I'll mountain. You. Mountain. You don't Full ever crack. say that like that. Mountain. Never said mountain. Okay. <laughs> My last name is Layton. We call it Layton. If you're from Utah, you understand. The T is silent. So that Layton. L in solder is silent. Yeah, it's solder. <laughs> I remember in sixth grade, my Mr. Black, my teacher, inquired, says, when you sing, make sure you say, uh, le uh, silent the R, because it rolls too much. <laughs> Mr. Black will know what I'm talking about if you watch this. Hey, cycle the keys. Uh, Nothing. No, nada. It's not even like. <laughs>
It's making a bubbly noise. Did you wire it up backwards? No, it's both black on black and red on red. Go again. No, that's pumping. Well, I'm gonna crank it. Crank it. More than we've had. It's trying to get all the water out of the injectors. Keep going. Keep going. why it's running. Hey, look at that. We're master mechanics and we didn't even know it. There's the winch. Look how small that is. But we're also not idled up. Hold on. Look at that. Look at it. Come on, Betsy. Okay, we'll lift now. Go, go look in and out where. Go. Go. Top of the morning. Keep going. That is so slow. We need to get gas. Look at that. This is why Paul said to put an electric winch on. Boom it out, boom hour. Is that it? Yep, that's as far as it goes. Sure. Go up. Whoa. Whoa. Keep going. Heck yeah. It's working. Oh, there you go. That is so slow. This is super cool. Okay, go in. Should we get the wheel lift to go in? Pretty happy with it. I'm thinking we mount another, we mount an electric winch here, put a winch on each side, a winch up there, and a winch on the front. Yeah, because then it, it's just never like me on going out or just you. We can have control of the vehicle swinging. Oh with yeah, us. that's five winches on this sucker. That'd be dope. He's a work in progress, my friends. All right, so now that we've got the truck running, the owners are here to sell it to us. So yeah. Gina and Aaron, but this isn't Aaron's truck like you would it's expect. It's not my truck, man. It's hers. So she's who we got to make a deal with. So how did you how did you end up with an off-road tow truck? Well, my baby brother passed away unexpectedly about seven years ago. My mom inherited it from him, and then I inherited bringing my mom home with me, which meant I had to bring the truck home too. <laughs> so it's not all bad. It, no, 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 but it's no. been sitting back there, and we've just been kind we've of wondering used it some, and it's what been to do with nice, it. But... And I felt bad because it's just been sitting there for a long time. And one of my brother's very favorite things in the world was off-road recoveries, especially in the higher elevations and pulling people out of shit. This will be good for him. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, it's. Sad that your brother passed away in order for you to get it, but we want to buy it. So, how much you guys want for it? Well, I think about thirty-five hundred. You told me twenty-five hundred. I did not tell you nothing like Just, that. He told me twenty-five hundred yesterday. I said, he said either three or thirty-five. I can't remember, and that's when you said go talk to him again. Maybe that's what I said. <laughs> All right. Well, how about I got a deal for you? So if you want thirty-five hundred? How about twenty-eight hundred bucks, and I got a gift for you. What kind of gift? How about I give you this $25,000 rope? $25,000. <laughs> so how about we make a deal and I'll give you a Yankum rope and two soft shackles and a protective sleeve. Well, do you have any Robbie Layton hats you can throw into the deal? Absolutely. Okay. I got a used one. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> sell it. Yeah. You can sell it for $1,500 online. You, can sell it. you go, probably man. could. I've heard rumors. Don't That's try that rumors. at home. But yeah. I'll give you okay. a hat, you can do whatever you want. Okay, it's a deal. Perfect. Thanks. Thank you. All right, looks like we're buying an off-road wrecker. Whatever. After we spent all day working on it before he bought it. I don't know why we're leaning into the camera. <laughs> That's fine. You want to get a close-up shot. Yeah. Perfect, well, we'll get you guys some merchandise and then we're taking it out for a drive. Okay. Cool. All right, now that we own the truck, let's go see if it'll even drive or anything. Ooh. <laughs> it's definitely gonna need something.
All right, so we're gonna take this up to the hill that we took the lamo up to and just see, see if it can like, I don't know, we'll see if four wheel drive works. So if the four wheel drive works or doesn't work, what good is it to us? This would have been the perfect machine to take up Boulder Mountain. So we're pretty pumped that we've got this. Hopefully we don't break down. So we've got Hillbilly behind us in the trekker in case anything happens. Very bumpy road. There's only five gallons in it, and I'll bet that being on an it's incline, on it's on the front. So I might have to coast down this hill. Well, let's go before we actually run out. Is the cap on? Yeah, let's go straight to Maverick. Is the cap on? Yeah. Want to unlock? Nope. Huh? No. Unlock them. <laughs> well, it went up it really easy. Yeah. All right, so it went up that hill super easy. It felt really good. This thing is driving nice. It's riding nice. I think we can turn this into a very reliable off-road wrecker. But first things first, we're gonna head straight to Maverick and put some gas in it. So we got on a little bit of an incline and I think between that and our inertia switch that shuts the fuel off the wire that we have jumping it fell out. So I coasted back down the hill. We didn't break down, didn't get stranded. Third time's a charm. Been to Maverick three freaking times today. <laughs> Look at this, it's first fill up. <clears throat> it should take 12 gallons or 13 gallons. This is actually a pretty decent little machine. You had brake lights working on top. Really? At the edge, out on the edge. Huh? It's insane. They have it wired into the light bar. Are they yellow or red? Red. red. Really? Oh, we got brake lights all the way around. <clears throat> Does Heck yeah. Work? We're going to have to leave that one. No. If it feels like it has any shifting problems, third brake light causes it. On these 90, 94s. I took 14.8. That means that we used almost three gallons. And hey, if the motor ever goes out in this, you have a couple Cummins that we could stick, a 12 ounce stick in this. So that's why I, now me and Hillbilly can finally agree. All right, so we made it back and look who's here. Little Adley. And <laughs> what are you gonna do? I got a joke for you, Hillbilly. Let's hear it. Which three letter words start with gas? Which three-letter word starts with gas? I have no idea. The car. <laughs> That's a good one. I didn't know what the heck you were talking about. The car starts with gas. Good job. You got another one? Yes. Which country only allows electric vehicles? Which country only allows electric vehicles? America. No. Madagascar. Madagascar? Madagascar? That's funny. All right, thanks for telling jokes. Bye. All right, so what we have behind us is a diamond in the rough. So the good thing about this wrecker is it runs and drives and everything works. So we're not gonna mess with it for a while, but we are gonna add some stuff to it and do a few things and mess with it. So as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one. I know what you're all thinking. Did you really just buy another project? You're dang right we did. Are we gonna finish our other projects? You're dang right we won't. Are we gonna buy more projects? You're dang right we will. <laughs>